Let's talk now about parameter context inheritance. As of NiFi 1.5, we have the ability to add inherited parameter context to an existing parameter context. What does that mean? Well, basically, if you have an existing parameter context and you have parameters in that parameter context that you might need in a new parameter context, you basically can borrow those parameter contexts. So why is that important? Well, any inherited parameters are also available in the context that inherits them, down to as many levels of inheritance as you desire. Let's go ahead and demonstrate how that looks. Remember, we've created this new processing group, processor group, and we've associated um, that parameter context. Now let's go ahead and create a new parameter uh, context. And let's call this one inherit. Let's create a new parameter here. My parameter is going to be called pp with pp value. And now in the inheritance tab, we have pretty much available parameter context to inherit values from. So what we're going to do, we're going to drag this one over into this selected parameter context and press apply. Close this window. Let's go to our processing processor group uh, settings and change the parameter context to inherit and apply. Cool. Now let's drag on the canvas a generate uh, flow file processor. Uh, let's link it to a log attribute. Just have a, an extension here. Let's dive into the processor and add a new property. So what I'm trying to demonstrate here, how we can get access to the old processing group through inheritance. So I will call this all parameter, press enter, and now let's use the same formula, hash, curly brace, control tab. Now you can see that we see the entire list of parameters, which is the inherited ones, the input and output, and the new one. Let's go ahead and select this one, enter, so we can actually validate. Actually, it should be the other way around, sorry. So this, the old, should be um, input directory, and the new should be PPP. Very nice name. <laughs> cool. Let's say run it once and let's evaluate the outcomes. This queue and check the attributes. We can see that we have access to those values indeed. Now, what happens if you have inheritance and somebody decides that they're going to delete the inherited parameter context? Let's see what happens. Oops, we cannot actually delete the dependent parameter context if you allow somebody in your organization to consume um, your parameter context through inheritance in the same time you are bound to them uh, so you will not be able to delete your parameter context unless they will remove it from their inheritance but changes to your parameter context will uh, not be bound to them. So let's go through that and see how that works. So we put this input directory, let's change this value and let's put it ZZZZ, Z, 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 whatever it is. Now let's save it. You see here, it gives us a message, a notification, hey, the referencing components are this uh, particular new processing group. Though we've changed a, process, uh, a parameter context that is not directly associated to this process group he recognizes as a dependency. Run this again. Look at the value. And we can see that the, the value changed. Let's see what happens if we clean up the parameter context. So we're not deleting the parameter context, but you know, I'm gonna get rid of this uh, parameter that is referenced downstream. We can see that immediately uh, we get uh, invalid notification, but you know, I don't really care. It's their problem. So that is an issue, you know, when you're using inheritance. 
if somebody from let's say somebody that owns that parameter context decide that they're going to get rid of it uh, and you're not aware of then you're in trouble um, just something for you guys to be mindful of but i think inheritance is really powerful and it brings a lot of benefits when you work in a large organization and parameter contexts are widely adopted.